Jordan better get his story straight now when his girlfriend shows up. With strong language, scenes of a sexual nature and adult content, it's a big weekend. Left my soul like kerosene. But it looks like she wants to get something off her chest. Weekenders. It's halfway through the season and we've had lots of goss already, haven't we, David? Yes, El Jefe's got a new team, but he's already had to say goodbye to one old face. But at least there's Callum, or Rep of the Week as we like to call him. Callum is our Rep of the Week. See, I told you. He's had that title three times already. Oh, Jesus. I know, very impressive. But there's one title that's eluded his grasp so far. Yes, that's Molly. And Callum wants to be her bae. I'm laying out all my secrets here. And she hasn't said no, has she? But when Callum keeps doing that with the guests, she's not going to say yes either. But hey, guests come first, don't they? But maybe someone should remind Marley of that. Right, right guys, then we'll get her on my After summer, she's been doing this. How long? After summer, love. And I'm still not sure she's got the hang of it. There is everyone. And what is it she really wants? I don't want a cuddle. Well, be careful what you wish for, Marley. Because China got herself some boy interest very quickly. I don't know if she's actually got glitter on her arm, so it's just that mystical. The only problem was it was from Jordan. And we all know what that means. I'm happy to say to Yes, it's the Jordan Charm Offensive. And sometimes it can be very offensive. Sucky, sucky. Shut up. And all that when you're just trying to do a good job. To be zero. And as El Jefe knows, no one's job is safe in Weekenderville. Isn't that right, David? We all need to get on the same page as each other. Otherwise, I will have to make changes within the team. Yes, even when you're El Jefe, there's always an El Gran Jefe on your case. Perhaps that's El Gran Jefe now? Hello, Yes, that's him. I'd recognise that voice anywhere. Thank you, pardon. You need a share. Oh, you take no share. I love being El Jefe, but I've got El Grande Jefe breathing down my neck all the time. He's not really happy with the team, and he wants me to start getting a lot tougher with them. They do shit work, they get punished. If they break the rules, they get punished. Exactly. Okay, Buenas Noches. So. Well, you know what that means, David. Yes, no rest for the wicked. Because a good El Jefe has got to have eyes everywhere. Day and night. Because when this lot are supposed to be working, you know they're really up to something else. What? It's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Here comes David. Who pulled the pine? I'm oh, sorry, David. I pulled the pine. Lap. <laughs> <laughs> you can see it here. Do a lap. I have to keep my eye on him constantly. Like, so much for no eye in team. I'm literally doing it on my own. <laughs> Faster. Come on. <laughs> Honestly, they all just need to stop mourning and get on with the job because you know how many thousands of people would like to do this? Oh, Tina. And I wonder how many people would like to do this when they're supposed to be working. I feel like David is watching all of us at team like a hawk right now. But he's specifically watching me. He's waiting for that one little slip up to boom, take me down like a snake in his talons. I beg your pardon? He's a hawk, isn't he? Really? <laughs> he's a hawk. He's a hawk and I'm a snake. Oh, exactly. Mm. Mm. Oh. And he's off again. At least Marley isn't involved in any of that rep romance stuff. I have to go out on a night out without any eyelashes on, I'll kill myself. I'm not even joking. The question is, what is she involved in? 
And that's what half and half of that in. It's all right, love. They might not be listening, but we are. The person I'm most concerned about is Marley because I just feel like she's on her own all the time and her heart isn't really in it anymore. I just think, crack a smell. Just hold it like that. These next guests might be just what you need. We're going to our beef up. <laughs> Swapping the building site for a first time visit to the White Isle are 18 year olds Bricky Danny and Carpenter Reese. Danny and Reese. Let's go. I wonder if they brought the tools with them. My plan's got to be for myself, aren't it? And for as many birds as we can. Looks like Carpenter Reese won't have any problems with the ladies. Girls, I'm 18, I'm a carpenter, and I'm good in the world. And now, Danny, look at him! And you haven't even arrived at the hotel yet. Game on, boys! And one way to stop him is to get your ball in his face! Football, obviously. Right, I think everyone's seen enough of your helmets now. We've got a hotel to get to! Yes, boys! Oh, right, here you go. Yeah, I'm good, how are you doing? You excited? Are you excited yeah, for the weekend? Oh, I can't wait. You want yeah. to take drinkers? Yeah, we'll have to get on each other. Hi, boys, I'll get you to me. I'm trying to take you to your room. Thanks, Dave. Nice to meet you, boys. Pleasure to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, is Marley still holding that smile? Well, she is! Yeah, yeah. I'm going to leave you with her, Marley. Yeah, I'm a bit bad. And it's gone. That's me, yeah, Marley. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How old are you? Nice to Oh, that's so cute. Yeah. Can't have a glass in the room. Where are you guys from? It's London. Ooh, London is. Yeah. Got another way from? No, I'm up north from Yorkshire. Yorkshire. Leeds. I'm going to ask the same thing everyone else would probably ask. Where's that? Leeds, isn't no it? No one ever asks where Leeds is. No, I know it'd be up north somewhere. It's not north. It's all right, Reese. Who needs geography? So that's where I'm going to lift. Kind of. Uh, well, I'll let you um, settle in and stuff. Right, yeah. Well, that's the geography lesson over. But will it be biology later? I wanted to get to know Molly a little bit more. Really? Well, maybe you can. Well, maybe I can. There you go. I do fancy him a bit. His eyes are so much fun. You always said brown hair, blue eyes. Remember Marley? Guests come first. Especially when we've got another two weekenders here on their first visit to paradise. Well, I be fun. Yes girls, that's exactly where you are. Be fun. I'm not just a pretty girl. And it says here that 18 year old Brightonians Josie and Charlotte are lingerie specialists. Don't get too excited, boys. It just means they flog pants. I'm not just a pretty girl. It's Josie's first trip out of the country. But she's in safe hands. Isn't that right, Charlotte? I'm planning on showing her the ropes. Of course, she's not ready. But when she says show her the ropes, she really means pulling, doesn't she? My record is seven. Oh no, that's crazy, I'm so proud of myself. See, told ya. But you're running in the wrong direction. If you want to beat your own high score. Alright, there we go. Why is it strawberry caprina? Yeah, caprina. So you greet a guest. How are you two? Amazing, Amazing. Thank, thank you. Oh god. I know you have. Well, treat yourselves to a cocktail. Thank you so much. Come with me. I'll just take you in. Perfect. Do you want me to turn the air conditioning on? Sit down and talk to me. Yeah. Have an holiday before that? No. Okay. First time. What, that ever gone abroad? Yeah. Shut up. He's buzzing to be here. I'm so excited. Okay. Okay. Alright, good to guess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright, girls. You two girls. See you later, girls. Oh my god. <laughs> I bet they're going to have the best time of their life. I mean, of course they are because I'm going to be with them. Ready? Let's go meet the boys. Hello. Hi, nice to meet you. 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 Hi, nice to they seem like the exact girls we want it. They're, they're, they're the same reason we were there. Just have fun. We look like we're perving on him. No, he's good looking, really good looking. Yeah, really good looking. Good looking. Yeah. He's, he's got a stunning face. I think you're, you're serious for him, you know, I'm not going to lie. Oh, she's going to ride a pony oh. like a bicycle. She's going to ride a pony cocky like a bicycle. 
Because it's the first night out and Callum is leading. And he's feeling in control. All we're going to do is going to play Get the Booty. Yes, it's all very touchy feeling. Isn't it, Josie? Charlotte's feeling Reese. You've got good peachy bun. Which means Marley's feeling, well, a bit left out. While David feels like a night in. Maybe he can help Jordan and China sort out how they feel about each other. Alan could do with a hand too, because he still doesn't know how Molly feels. But Reese knows how Marley feels. Or is it Charlotte? Molly. Don't hurt her feelings. As for Danny, well, I get a feeling things aren't going to go his way. But after all that, well, I feel like a lie down. Sweet. Let's go, guys. Come on. Knowing the guests clearly feel like a bit of red gossip. I feel like Jordan and Tyler have a fancy. There's definitely yeah. going on. You feel like a red seal? Yeah, China and Jordan. We didn't really know where he stood with China, so it was a bit of like a. You didn't want to intrude. Yeah, I didn't want to step on anyone's toes. I know what you mean, Josie, but there's only one person who can get to the bottom of what's going on with Jordan and China. Uh, can I take your names, please? China. And Jordan. And Dr. David, I've come along today because I feel like there's trouble in paradise between two very close people. Jordan and China. How many well qualifications you've got? Me to couples therapy. You both ready? Yeah. To take this session seriously? Yes. Is there anything at all that you're worried or concerned about? It is, you know, Jordan's history, like all these girls they slept with. Now, if you cannot accept Jordan's past, you will never, ever move forward from this, as it will be playing in the back of your mind, and you'll be constantly thinking about it. Jordan, is there any concerns? I feel like China, personally, she's always worried about that I'm going to mug her off. But I know I am not going to. I know I'm not going to, so I love I beg your pardon? I like this girl. Did I just hear Jordan use the L word? I thought was really good. So I'm kind of like a bit, yeah, too good. You teamed Jordan, and that takes a lot. That's what I mean. You two have come to couples counselling together as a couple. There's no I, it's you as a pair. Therefore, you will no longer be known as Jordan and China. You'll be known as China. <laughs> it's China, it's not nice, is it? It's got a nice ring to it. Well, I, I don't like it. She doesn't like it. So we're not, we're not going to get known as China. <laughs> Thank you, Doctor, for Thank making us close. Well, that cleared things up for China, hasn't it? Is still got a few questions there. It's China and Jordan. Yeah. Well, how weird is that? How weird is that? And I turned around to Callum and I said, Oh my god, Callum, have you heard what they've just said? I said, That is so weird. Basically, she was just like, Well, we could just tell us things walked in, like, they just looked straight at each other and they had like a lot of times. Yeah, I suppose there's nothing they can really do about it as long as they're not necking on or like, you know, grabbing each other's ass. There's nothing they can do about that. I mean, eye contact, eye contact, anyway. Yes, it's all in the eyes, isn't it? Looks like Molly's got something in her eyes anyway. Must be Callum's aftershave. If, if I was to kiss Molly this weekend, um, that would be uh, spectacular. Best leave him to it, Molly. After all, there's always Reese. Reese is a really attractive guy. Well, if you've got your prey in your sights, it's time to get out the big guns. Only problem is, you're not the only one on the hunt. I think it was very obvious that Reese was my type. Yeah, very obvious. Don't waste any time, do you, Charlotte? Oh, God, Reese. Okay. They kiss. They kiss. Empty handed again, eh, Marley? Oh, it's not there! You're not respecting the guests. 
which is appalling. It annoys me because I feel like I've, I've had to tell David like a couple of days in a row of things that she's doing. I don't like, I feel like I'm a snitch, but at the same time, like we've got a job to do. But what is that job, Callum? Of course, guests come first. And there's still Danny and Josie. Well played, sir. I know it's hypnotic, isn't it, Danny? Okay, back in the room. And the award for Pie of the Season so far goes to Danny. Okay, everybody, time for the back to the hotel con, yeah? Where it looks like Dr. David has worked his magic. Yes, you've earned your dreams tonight, El Jefe. Will anyone else get the bedtime thereafter? Back to the fucking sick night. I thank you very much for helping me out because I've led tonight and you've been fucking amazing. A lot of you have been amazing. I think that was a hint to go to bed, Danny. Because Jesse's taken the hint. Hey, Charlotte, Charlotte, Charlotte. You're on holiday, yeah? Enjoy. Hey, Charlotte, Charlotte, Charlotte. You're on holiday, yeah? Enjoy your time. Because we're both guests, I just wanted to. I think we're both on the same vibe, both on the same things, just want to have fun in our beef up. Look at that cuddle, I'm going to have a bit of a hat. Yes, Bill. I'm in the gym anyway, so I'm quite cosy. Good idea, Danny. Keep those shades on. You don't want to see this. No! And with all the guests in bed, even if it isn't their own, there's time for a toast to a job well done. Oh, thank you. Now who knows? Maybe even a good night kiss, eh, Callum? I think the only thing that's really in your life right now. Yeah. What? You don't even know what I'm about to say. You thought I was going to see your case. I'll teach you guys something quite. In my head, I think things are going better. I think things are going better. I've seen the morning, yeah? Yeah, but they're not getting better, though, are they? That's not really that. Hey, hey. See, I told you, not getting better at all. It's a slow burner, is it? Callum, it's not a slow burner, it's a slow killer. Because every night I'm taking a fucking stab to the heart. Oh. Never mind, Callum. Could be worse. You could be Marley. Morning, David. What's the first rule of management in Weekenderville? Alright, going on. Basically, like we was walking to the club, Josie asked Marley, like, what is anything going on between Jordan and China? So this is exactly the way Marley dealt with that situation. Oh my god, oh my god, Callum, Callum, have you heard this? Like that in front of them. That was an exact replica of how the conversation went down. I just can't believe the way like she was like trying to dog them out essentially. Marley's actually causing disruption to my life. I'll take a seat, Marley. Thanks, She listens to me off sometimes. You know for a while you're not allowed to say anything to the guests, and by reacting like that, it's just proving obvious that they are seeing each other. It's not like I went out of my way to be, like, there together. I, I, obviously, like, my approach just wasn't, like, it wasn't right. How, how do you feel like you're getting on with all the other reps? I, I think I get on with them well. I can't see my friends now. So she does things like she says things, but in front of the guests, that she, like if you need to say something. I do know what it is. I don't think she realises that she's like, does that. That's my idea. Do you ever feel like you've been pushed out the group or anything like that? Oh, you feel? Never. Yeah, okay. Come on. I don't need to get on any reps to be part of the group. I am part of the group. I know I'm part of the group. Well, it's good to know you're definitely part of the group. Reese and Charlotte have probably been talking about nothing else all night. Yeah, I guess we're in bed. Oh, so bad. Well, hey. Me. Me. And then what happened? Come on, Charlotte. And then what happened? 
Oh god, they just got up and left. <laughs> What's going on with you and Shannon then? Nothing, I ain't shagger, but. But. Bring it up and then it does it, really. I didn't really want to follow that romance or anything, I just really wanted to just have fun. I kind of think she did as well. Golden and Is that something you do with a pinky promise? What are you gonna do? Unshine it again or you have to join them. You mean I've been fudge, you know what I mean? Ow! Oh. Right, everybody, get your rubber rings and your electric kits on, because it's a day out of Molly's leading. Oh, guys! Oh. I'm not joking. She's taking them to a water park with Molly. Let's go in the water! Oh my god, is it in the sink? I've decided to put Molly in charge. She really needs to up again, and I want to see how she gets on. Goodbye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. See you later. And don't look so pleased you're not going, China. And don't look so pleased you're not going, China. Something tells me there's trouble on the way. It's Nene. It's Nene. Yeah, that's how you call it. What, what do you call it? Better call it vagina. No, not there. Not because Fanny's an actual girl's name as well. Not uh, um, like... I'm here to see Jordan. Oh, right, okay. So I'm just wondering if you know where he is. Yeah, do you want to wait here, Charlie, while I go and grab yes. him? Hi. 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 Oh, I like the dress. Thank you. <laughs> it's literally so hot outside. Like, oh, this is so Jordan, there's a girl in reception for you. Put your vest on. China's just stuck with her. What do you look like? She's got massive boobs. <gasps> Dark brown Jordan, hair. Jordan, 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 She's Jordan, 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 Jordan. I don't know why you're so worried, Jordan. It's not like she's your girlfriend or something like that. So how can we see Jordan? We're in danger of love for a while. Oh, maybe she is. Oh, have you? Yeah. You're dating now? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. around in the shallow end and suddenly you find yourself dangerously out of your depth. No, not them. They're just a water park. I meant him. Deep breaths, children. Because for some reason, China's hiding in there. And she is in reception. Whoever she is, any idea, Jordan? Where the fuck do I begin? <sighs> I was getting this girl like... <laughs> Did you fuck her off? Not completely, no. Oh, oh, you see that? <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, I'm What are you going to do? What are you going to do? What the fuck do I say? Don't ask me. But it looks like Amber wants to get something off her chest. Hello, how are you? You okay? You alright, yeah? Good night. What are you doing? I'm so I'd leave them to it. They've probably got quite a bit to catch up on. <laughs> oh, oh, we shit! Oh my god! <laughs> Jordan, please! <laughs> what are you doing? Are you ready for it? Oh my god, oh god. Get yourselves a good view, boys! No, I haven't got on any guests at all, sure. Well, yeah. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't lie to you, I've got on a And I don't know why you texted me two days ago saying you're missing it. Because we are good mates now, because we got stuff like that. So, what is China then? You say it's yeah, 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 here we are. Nice. He's got his hands on his face. And his head, he's got his hands. What is here? Oh, there is now. I lost my head. I thought they were out for a drink. Ugh, that's sick. They can fuck right off. No. No, that takes a piss.
Oh my god, he's fucked it! <laughs> obviously because we've now got a hotel full of guests and we still haven't worked out where Amber is sleeping tonight so yeah uh, basically what I wanted to say to you was is what I'm going to say Alex says I'm sorry like, I didn't mean to start another bullshit I just fucking love it I think it's over so yeah Jordan bye um, I'm going you're a little boy I'm a grown woman and uh, yeah you can kiss this little sweet last goodbye because you ain't going to see it again yeah, it's definitely over. Okay, who fancies a night out? 
you know what, I just don't feel like I'm going to get out of the right now, I just love to stay in. If you want to stay in, that's fine. Thank you. Uh, Molly and Carol are staying here. Molly, you're out. Me and John are out. I'm oh, just decent then. Okay, boys, plan for tonight. Tell them you're staying in. Jordan, you're out and you're leaving. Yes, get in! So glad that David's let me lead tonight because I had so much dramas. For me personally, with Amber turning up and China not want to speak to me, that I just need this night to just focus on being a rep. Right, is everyone ready for yeah. tonight? Yeah. Right, well, come on in, let's go! Yeah. Right, so we're going to have a look Ready for a night of banging and bumping? Oh, no. Good. Let's well, strap yourselves in, kiss the fam to Weekenderville. Hello, everyone. Let's go. And our very own Welsh wonder, is at the front. But there's one question that's bugging you. No, not of the moth spill at Marley's shorts again. It's what have they done with the real Jordan? But don't worry, David's taken the wheel. Oh, sorry. Holy. She was buzzing, she was ready to do it. And it's just like she's gone all the way up and then she's just dropping down. And it's just little bits that really begin to piss me off. You know what this calls for? Of course, a drinking game. What do you reckon is the best defense? That annoyed me, that really annoyed me. I just thought it was a bit muggy, a bit rude. It really changed my perception of him. Oh dear. And as one romance fades, it's another about to finally catch fire. Finally, tonight's the night. Yes, crack open the champagne and light the scented candles, because it's date night. The moment I found out I was staying in, you know, it was my first night and I thought, you know, why not? It's with Molly. Just don't call it date night, is it? It is! Oh my God! Well, obviously, you know, I adapted it to your kind of thing, innit? Right. So I feel like... I mean, the lights might have been... If I ever take a bricklayer on a date... Molly and... House... First night in... Is it... Is it... It is... <laughs> is it what? Yeah. A date? First thing I thought and said, I was like, Callum, is this a date? It's not a date, it's my first night in. Oh, is this cute, Mum? It is! And it is a date. I don't know if that was the right thing to say, because I don't know if that made it her thing, they were just friends, I don't know, like... Right, I've only been on, like, I'll say, two and a half dates at Mama. I was more about half. Well, I just went for a pint and a packet of crisps and a stuff I'll do, I'd like to <laughs> count. So, after all that effort with beer, peanuts and onion rings, looks like Molly's brought her own pie! Right, this has been nice, but for a date, I've learned my things like Nice, but I do love, mate. This is not me. No one steps in to love Shay, right? Not with me, no, I thought that. He did put a lot of effort into it, considering it wasn't a date, but it was. Drink up, Callum! It's thirsty work getting out of the friend zone. She's there. There's them, there's them, there's them. Not the only one dreaming of how things could be different. Missing someone, George? And you know what to expect when our very own El Jefe gets his way. Yes, multiple 12 inch rods squirting on you from a great height. Look, he's already taken a load to the face. Yes, it's a paint party. Honestly, that paint party was probably the best night out of my entire life. Experience David in an element. And there's nothing like a paint soaked head wet to take your mind off those holiday romances that have gone wrong. David's dancing is great. It's very good. Yeah, it's hot there. Show guys an amazing time. And as El Jefe knows, 
That's the best way to get them back to the hotel and into bed with a minimum of drama. They had a date, are you? Is it? Well, I'm sorry, I really don't want to wake you up. But tonight was a fucking scream. I'll see you in the morning. Bye. Thank you for tonight. Love you. But the thing about a sleepover, there's always one who wants to stay up and talk about their emotions. I just want to run in a room and jump in a bed. I don't do that because you're going to get some psycho. I don't. I don't. No, Jordan, it wasn't a bad dream. You are back in your old room. There's no lions for El Jefe. If they carry on pissing me off, they get sent home. Well, someone's got to keep things on track. Literally, just bring it on. <laughs> First, there was Marley's big mouth. And Molly's been a bit distracted by Callum's battered ring. Onion ring, obviously. And who can forget what happened between him and her? At least the guests had a night to remember, rather than one they want to forget like the first night, eh, Charlotte? So, how to describe the situation, Charlotte? Very short-lived holiday romance. <laughs> Mate, you know what? I'm changing my opinion on him. A bit of prick. He is, yeah. He's well full of himself. Well, at least you had some romance. Can I have a, um... Sorry, can I have a coffee, please? OK? She does not want to talk to me. I'm not giving up, though. Problems of Treya, Jordan. Tell her on a date last night. I'm going to go to town. Tell her on a date. What's that? I didn't go on a date, you go to town. What's, what's Callum doing? That was clearly a date, wasn't it? I, th I feel like it might have been. I fell asleep. Wow, you just <laughs> mugged him right off. Is that a bathroom? I'm actually sad, like I could easily cry. Three, two, one, go. I beef far. I don't really want anything. Yeah. I'm gonna have to I don't know, I still get I don't know the fucking words. What do you mean? Like, it's in your head, it's not in my head, is it? I've never felt so sad to be leaving a place. I do not want to go. I'm gonna have to go, so I'll see you when you see you. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. miss them all for different reasons. Danny just oh we so funny. Dad, you what? No, I'm not going to hide that. This is going to be an emotional one. Oh, sad thing to me. So sad. Very good time, though, yeah? Amazing. Thank you so much. Definitely going to come back. 100%. Say thank you. Bye. Bye. What's that you for? I don't really want to. There you go. I've got a few things that I really want to do. I'm going to have to go, so I'm going to say see you. Does it mean I'm not going to be back in the future? Yes. Bye, I'll be fun. Oh, oh, no. Don't, don't look back, mate. Don't as soon as you look back, you start crying. Don't look back. I'm gonna look back, I'm gonna look back. Don't, don't do it. <laughs> now you heard him, China. No looking back. Good chat. I'm like that. If I was to lose China now, I think I'd be lost in this place because this season has been made because of her. Like, I'm, I really, 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 really do like you. And yeah, but if you really, 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 really did like me, then you wouldn't be texting other girls. I'm not texting other girls. I've but just you did, yeah, but... for two years, Amber. Did he just say Amber? He called me Amber. Oh, my God. I just, I can't even, do you know what? I literally can't even be angry at you because I just don't feel like you're worth it. Like, I don't think we should carry on. I want to be on my own for a little bit. I think that's wise, Amber. Sorry, China. I don't understand. And I get a feeling the bad news isn't over, because El Jefe would like to see you all on the terrace. As a team, it's been absolutely horrific. After yesterday, with all the absolute carnage that happened, HR wants me to make some changes. I've got a bad feeling about what's coming next. It was brilliant at the beginning, but now it's just getting worse and I'm not having it. Apart from Callum, who is continuously smashing it every single week, you four haven't really been smashing it. Apart from me and Callum, who are exempt, one of you four is going home. I thought, as we are all a team, it could be a group decision. Molly, babe, I'm going to start with you. Yeah, but I don't want anyone to go. I don't, babe. Because I want to be horrible, babe. But I just know you struggle with the rep bit sometimes. Molly. And I'd, I'd, I'd have to say, 
like I'd have to say Molly. That's I just fine. Think, and I, I don't. I'm sorry. China. But I'm gonna say Molly because you've hurt me and I can't do it. No, 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 no. That's fine. That's not what I mean. That's fine. This is a massive decision at the end of the day and I am doing it for the better of the team and I just hope that they see it like that. Unfortunately, um, it will be Marley. Unfortunately, at the minute, she's the weakest link in the group and I just feel like, for the sake of the team, that it's just going to be better if I do let her go. That's no disrespect to Marley because I really like her. I'm really sorry, Marley. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Come on, then. She's a, she was, she was a nice girl, Marley, and she was good. It's just she started treating it more like a holiday rather than a job, which is when, you know, You've got guests to look after, you can't be doing that. Honestly, like, I understand. If China had gone, Joe would have been messed up. If Molly had gone, I'd have been upset. You know, it, it's just, it, it, it was the best decision to make. I do understand, 100%. It's like I feel like I'm going to miss home here. When I get there, I'm going to miss home when I'm there, which is here. Does that make sense? <laughs> nah, not really. But I'll let you off given the circumstances. Okay, remember, smash it. Like you. Sorry, Marley. Looks like we forgot to call you a taxi. Can somebody get Marley a cab? Oh dear, El Jefe. How will these four cope on their own? How small does it feel now? Jordan's heart's literally in pieces. I'm not fucking giving up a new channel. Do you know what? I don't even care. And will Callum and Molly take their relationship to a higher level? I'm kind of mad you took me. It's about like 35 pounds for rods. Perhaps it's time to order a new uniform for somebody. 